Hey guys, William Murphy here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video on Miss Mini. Loads of work have been done so far. Today's the day the engine goes in the engine bay. So, let's get to it. We are in. So the engine is supported on the lower engine mounts. I need to do a lower engine steady, upper engine steady, exhaust, carburetors, manifolds, um, starter, alternator, oil pressure gauge, HT leads need to put on, radiator, servo, clutch needs plumbing in. There's an awful lot to do, but the biggest part of it is there sat in place. And actually that was relatively easy to do, which was really good. Um, so this corner is pretty much done, uh, other than talking the hub nut. This corner here, it needs the ball joints doing, but you know, we are, we are. And you can see it's sitting somewhat lower. Look how clear that is there. On the front, because there's no, uh, there's no damper that side, whereas there is on the passenger side. Um, so I'm going to continue to dress this. I think next stage is uh, exhaust manifold. Really pleased with that. Fuel line came out too. So just a piece of rubber from here onto there. That, that's the in sorted. From the out piece of rubber, I'm going to make a little metal pipe to come up over into the carburetors. So that's the second piece sorted. Exhaust manifold in, inlet manifold on. Um, the carburetors do need a rebuild. There is a pretty significant issue on those. Um, but yeah, I can do so much in here and I've got a nice little treat for Gemma as well to go in this. So on to the calling system, had a slight mix hat with a fuel, which I'll come back to in a second, but Gemma's always wanted a Fletcher radiator or alloy. Um, and I just so happened to have a Fletcher radiator. I was saving for a rainy day and today has been pretty miserable. So um, this is gonna go in. I'm just gonna get polished up a little bit and uh, just gonna move over the hoses and uh, this top mount and um, new Jubilees and we can get that fitted in. I haven't got a bottom bolt. So I need to sort a bottom bolt for the radiator, but it's gonna hopefully make this engine bay shine a little bit better. Okay, so I mentioned that I messed up royally earlier with regards to the fuel system, which I did. So I mentioned earlier that 
the fitment between the pipe and the fuel pump was amazing. And what I didn't mention, and I didn't realise until I looked underneath the car, when I had the um, engine crane under here, it was catching on the bottom arms. So I put a jack underneath the rear of the um, subframe just to lift it slightly to move it under. What I didn't realise happened was this. As I've jacked underneath, the corner of the jack has caught the fuel line and uh, it's pinched it and actually flattened the whole thing. So this pipe is now completely wasted. Um, what I'm going to do is obviously I can cut that piece there out and reuse this for different bits and pieces throughout. Um, but for what I need it for, this is no good. Um, I could chop it and run a rubber pipe from here to here, but then the pit that's gonna get affected the most underneath the car with the stones flicking up is gonna be around this area here as it's bending around the tow board and it's just no good. So I need to order some more fuel hose or fuel pipe and uh, reroute it and um, yeah, bit of stuck there. However, the exhaust manifold's on, the radius is roughly in. I didn't put it in fully because I haven't got a fan belt, which I thought I had one. There may be one in the back of Rusty. I don't know just yet. Uh, starter motor's on, oil pressure gauge sensor's on, the wiring for the temperature sensor's on, the wiring for the starter motor's on. Um, I've got a little bit to do, obviously, wiring for the lights, uh, indicators, and um, I haven't got spotlights on this, but yeah, uh, lights, indicators. It does have fancy lights on this, so they need to get wired in. Um, I need to earth the uh, the terminals up there onto the bulkhead. I need to put the servo in and to connect the, the clutch hose, which I think I may look at getting a new hose just because that one's a little bit old. I don't particularly want to do this again because now it's out, it's the best time to do it. I haven't got a bottom bolt for the radiator, so that obviously can't get fitted in there. Um, I reused the bottom hose for the radiator because that was replaced just a few months before the car came off the road. Um, and all it's done is been sat. So I've swapped it from one radio to the other, put new clips on it, uh, new clamps. And that's fitted in. I need to get some blanking grommets or some grommets for the um, heater hose pipes. Um, all in all, pretty good, pretty happy. I also need to work out, because I cannot remember for the life of me, how this speedo cable works. I think it goes through here and kind of just sits on top of the engine a bit like that. I might be wrong but I need to look at my car to see. Um, but I'm kind of, unfortunately, a bit of a stopping point until I can get fan belt, fuel pipe, clutch hose. Once the fuel pipe's fitted, I can fit the fuel pipe from there to the top to the carburetors. I probably could do that now, actually. From there up to the top for the carbs, fit the inlet manifold on because I don't need access to here. But I want access to this side. So that's something I can do. Um, and yeah, just uh, plod on and see how we get on. But yeah, very happy so far. And it looks pretty good in there. Does need a bit of a tidy up and a little bit of a touch with the paint, but overall, very pleased. What I'm thinking as well of doing is trying to get a, um, a blue silicon top hose from the radiator to the thermostat. Um, Gemma does have heater hose that goes from the T to take off and back into the, um, the top valve, uh, which are blue. So it wouldn't look out of place with the top hose. The black one down the bottom doesn't particularly matter too much. But that might be quite nice just to have that all tied in. Whew. Yeah, There's always something, isn't there? Always, always something. Hello, right, you're joining back in the garage. Short one this evening, only got a few little bits and pieces to do. So the bolt for the bottom radiator has arrived and that's now been fitted. And now got a nice blue Fletcher silicon hose to go with the nice Fletcher aluminium rad. So I do need to modify it slightly because it's going to be a little bit long. So I need to cut a chunk of it like this. So when it sits like that, it's uh, let me go to there. I'll probably cut just the other side of the R. A little bit left over and uh, so I showed you the damage I made to the fuel pipe I now have a replacement length of fuel pipe that's I've got me box of goodies I've got a selection of 
male and female brake connectors, engine steady bushes, bobbins for the exhaust and for the transmission linkage, lower engine steady bushes, I've got a fan belt and a rocker cover gasket and I've got a throttle cable. So that's plenty of stuff to be getting on with. This is my priority for this evening to get the radiator sort of fitted in. And then once it's done, I need to tidy up a little bit. And do a little bit of paint on the uh, on the cover and just polish up that radiator as best as I can. So a little bit of auto sole on this will bring this up lovely. A little paint on the bits I can reach. Take it all back out again. Um, new flexi hose. Now, if anyone can point me the direction of the correct bungs for these, because um, well, that's not right, is it? Because I shouldn't be able to, <laughs> to lift these. So um, I've just dropped one as well. Bugger. Um, so I need to get the proper bungs for those. And uh, I've got the new clutch hose somewhere. Where's that come? I'm sure that will turn up. Well, anyway, I've got a new um, clutch hose, nut and washer and banjo, so that'll be that sorted. I can put the servo in then. I'll get the unions onto the brake lines and they can be connected up. The compensator can go in. Ha! Found it. There it is. There's my uh, new clutch flexi. Uh, don't know what it's doing there. Uh, HT leads can go on, alternating can go on, starter's already in, coil can go on, the electrics can be plumbed in, and I can get the engine steadies on, carburetor can go on, engine bay's pretty much complete then, other than just a little bit of a fettling and texting of wirings and bits and pieces, but fuel line is a big one before the carb goes on. So today, chop chop, and uh, I'm going to give that a little bit of a snip. Um, I have got a new gasket for the thermostat. And I need to sort the plate out. So I'm just going to get this to fit right for now. It'll come back off. I'll clean it. I'll paint it. I'll put the bracket up and stuff on as well. And then it'll be uh, tickety-boo. Okay, pretty happy with that. Other than Jubilee clips on the top and bottom, that is pretty much done. So that's in place. Got my new fan belt here. So that can go on as well before the radiator gets bolted down. And then I can just put that onto the alternator. Um, the blue of the engine, the blue of the hoses, as I said previously, the heater hoses are a blue one. I'm going to message Mark over at Simpsons Classics because see if he can uh, point me in the right direction of the right bungs for those. He'll be the man to ask. And um, yeah, we are nearly there. <laughs>